The man you're about to meet says his brother would be alive today if not for Scientology. He spoke with us amid growing calls for a Senate inquiry into shocking claims of abuse. The Church of Scientology has remained silent, but as Brian Seymour reports, they've still got plenty to sing about. This is John Travolta singing with Frank Stallone, Sylvester Stallone's brother, in a song that preaches rebirth, that pain and sorrow are illusions, things that only Scientology can solve. It's possibly one of the worst songs ever recorded, part of the worst album in the galaxy, full of songs written by Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard. Stay tuned for more. My brother Edward McBride committed suicide. He was only 30 years of age. I just feel my uh, brother's life has been taken away for a mere sum of $25,000. What we are seeing is a worldwide pattern of abuse and criminality. My brother was a beautiful, gentle, kind person. 30-year-old Edward McBride electrocuted himself at a substation near Brisbane in February 2007. The Queensland coroner requested the Church of Scientology hand over its files, as Edward had been doing intensive Scientology courses before taking his life. But despite these requests, the files were never ever handed over. Police subsequently discovered that the file they wanted, my, my late brother's file, had been shipped by the Church of uh, Scientology to the United States. When Edward McBride died, Scientology didn't hide his files. They sent them to Sydney, then on to the United States. Still, they will not show them to the coroner. There's something in those files that just, that may, maybe something, maybe nothing, but hey, if there's nothing in there, why not just shed some light, you know, just bring it to the table. Well, to Senator Nick Xenophon is leading the campaign for a Senate inquiry into Scientology. He tabled the shocking claims by former members of forced abortion, kidnap, torture, fraud and perjury. He wants to know what happened to Steve McBride's brother. It hasn't given closure to the family. We'll never know the full story because those files have been taken out of the country. Greens party leader Bob Brown has joined the campaign for a full Senate inquiry into Scientology. And it raises questions about uh, techniques being used, methodologies being used by a cult like this to put people in a position which is untenable. Two days prior to his death, the bombardment of 19 telephone calls and SMSs from the Scientology. Uh, I think, I believe, uh, he was just cornered, you know, had nowhere to run. When he failed to appear for more intense and expensive Scientology auditing, the pressure was put on. Very demanding, you must come in now, my job's on the line here. Just paid $25,000 for uh, three uh, advanced courses for the Scientology. Where did he get the money for that? Uh, he had uh, $5,000 uh, of his own money, but actually took out a bank loan of $20,000. Scientology has not been accused, let alone convicted, of any wrongdoing uh, in relation to what happened to you, brother. We have to make that clear. Yes, yep, fully understand. Uh, they just, uh, you know, it's not rocket science. The Church of Scientology promised to specifically address the litany of appalling acts tabled in the Senate, such as... He says while under control of Scientology, he was involved in coercing female followers to have abortions. Scientology has released this 16-page response, saying simply that none of it ever happened and that those making the claims are all bitter liars. That response has been passed on to the police. Let's be very clear here, the Church of Scientology should not be investigating the Church of Scientology. These victims of Scientology claim it is an abusive, manipulative, violent and criminal organisation. The former top leaders of Scientology who recently escaped the cult, Oscar winning director of Crash, Paul Haggis, actor Jason Begay, countless men, women and children who've escaped. Scientology says they're all lying. They won't or can't explain how, 
Instead, they call them names. The more that people are abused by this organisation, the more determined I am to make sure that there is an inquiry, that the truth comes out about the Church of Scientology. It's been suggested these matters are so serious they should be investigated by the police. But what if the evidence has been destroyed or shipped offshore, like the files of Edward McBride? The ex-Scientologists making the claims say that almost certainly has already happened. That leaves one place to properly and fully call the Church of Scientology to account. The police have an important role to play here to properly investigate any allegations, and the Senate has a role to play with any inquiry in terms of any civil uh, claims that are made against the Church of Scientology. I have this inquiry for Edward's sake and for all victims of Scientology. Please don't let my brother's death just be in vain. And we're running a poll on our website. Do you think the government should call a Senate inquiry into the Church of Scientology? Let us know at yahoo7.com.au slash today tonight.